Hi guys, this is Zahid Sheikh and welcome back to my channel Zero Float. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic with respect to planning and it is called plan the way it will be constructed or model the way it will be constructed. Couple of things you will learn in this video is um, basics of schedule creation, relationships and sequence of activities. And by the end of this video, you will understand how to present different schedule options. And you might give this presentation to a client, uh, your internal project team or your project manager. So here on my screen, This slab is at level 1, this one is at level 2 and this one is at level 4. So we don't have any slab here in uh, in middle say somewhere around level 3. And these columns we are showing it as going right from level 1 that is from this slab to the top slab that is level 4. If as a planning engineer anyone asks you how much time it will take to construct this building or what is the sequence of activities uh, for this uh, building. I have Synchro open here in my screen. So if you want to look at the activities, this is how it will look like. We have level one, the level one slab. Then we have columns that are going through from level one to level four. Then we will have the level two slab and level four slab. Pretty simple, right? We just have four activities which are representing the construction of this entire small structure that we have here on our screen. And if we just go on to play a simulation, how that will look like the construction sequence. So we have the lower slab, the level one slab getting constructed. Then we have the columns getting casted. Then the level two slab a smaller one and at the end we have the level 4 slab that is being casted over here if we just play it again this is how it would look like so lower slab columns that have been casted from level 1 to level 4 all at once now level 2 slab then it level 4 slab but is it really this simple remember we need to plan the way it will be constructed that means that these columns that we have over here if we come back to a rabbit model these columns in the uh, sectional view we can see that these columns are around 35 feet so from level 1 to level 4 these columns are approximately 35 feet but is this how the columns will be casted no right anyone who has understanding of um, civil engineering would say that that is not the way to cast a columns. We cannot pour a column of 35 feet at one time. Even though we have a 6 day duration, that is not how it will be constructed. Even if you, even if I click uh, any of these columns, you can see that they are going right from bottom to top, which is wrong actually. So we need to do some modifications over here with respect to our models and even with respect to our activities because we need to model and plan the way it will be constructed. So I'll just collapse this and here I have two more options that I will just show it to you guys. If you come back to a Revit, I will just turn this to path. So I'll do one more modification over here. Now you see I have split the columns as per level. So the columns are now going from level 1 to level 2. These are going from to level 2 to level 3 and these ones are going from level 3 to level 4. These are still not the exact height that they will, they will be casted. Maybe it will be less or more. But this is just for representation purpose. So we don't need to get technically on how much actually the pore height will be for each of these columns. So 
Yeah, so presentation purpose, we'll just say that these are the actual pouring height that a column can be casted on site, not more or not less than this. So looking at this, what does it mean to you? Do you think that we need to upgrade a schedule? Definitely, right? Now we have the level one slab that's done. Now these columns, they have to be now um, divided into different levels in activities as well. So if we come back to our synchro and if I open up my option one schedule over here, you can see that I have my level one slab over here. I have my level one slab over here. I have my columns activity that has been split it from level one to level four into much detailed activities. Now we are properly showing that the way column will be casted, they will be cast from level one to level two, then level two to level three, and then level three to level four. If I just select this, then you can see uh, those columns that are linked to this activity are now being highlighted. All right. Similar to for level 2 to level 3. Right. And level 3 to level 4. Now we don't need to go in much granular detail and say that we want to create activity for each of this individual activity. I mean, uh, create activity detail enough for each of these columns. Now that would be pointless and no um, value will come out of creating a detailed activity for each of these columns and dividing this original schedule into much detail we are following the same sequence we have the slab we have the columns then we have level 2 and level 4 slab similarly level 1 slab we have the columns then we have the level 2 and level 4 slab if you notice dividing these column activity into detailed activities by level we have modified the duration a little bit. This helped, this helped us identify that six days for all of this column was not actually enough. It will actually take four days duration for each of this group of columns, which is best part that this helped us identify. So if I play this sequence now, let's zoom this a little bit, all right? I will play the entire sequence again. Now we have the level one slab showing up at both levels. Then we have the columns. So you notice that the column over here, we just are just jumping from bottom to top. At the, at the same time, we have columns from level one to level two, just car getting cast over here. Then we have level two to level three. In the meantime, the columns are already completed over here. That is what the original schedule was saying. And then the level two slab has been being casted now then we have level 2 to level 3 and now comes the level 2 slab over here and then almost when the level 4 slab was getting completed now we have the level 4 slab that is almost starting over here this is the difference in the entire schedule we have detailed out our activities over here we can now simulate the difference in schedule and difference in duration that it makes and basically difference in the entire sequence process. We have modeled and planned the way it will be constructed. Planned based on level and model based on level. So that is actually the right way. Now let's change this situation a little bit. Now we said that we said that um, will pour all the columns first from bottom to top even though they were in levels and then we will come back and pour the rest of the slabs say uh, we just want to know how it will look like if we changed our sequence a little bit here we are saying that after level one to level two columns after these columns then we will come and cast this slab so we won't be waiting until completion of the last columns 
so we won't be waiting completion of this level one to level four columns and then come back and pour these two slabs that is what we're saying over here so looking over we'll say that we are casting these columns then we'll cast this small columns and then we'll cast the rest of the columns right here and then we'll come chance of the last level four slab over here cool right so that's let's take a look at the simulation now between each of these schedule we have the original we have the option one and the option two in option one original we have a very brief schedule where activities are not broken down into details to give a clear idea in option two we have the activities being detailed out a little much more granular which gives us a good capability for tracking as well so having the activities broken down gives us the opportunity to track this activity in more granular detail compared to having one summary activity which uh, captures the entire bigger scope and then here we have the same option one schedule but we have changed the sequence a little bit after level one slab we are casting a level one to level two slab then we would be casting the smaller slab and then the rest of the columns and slab construction we won't be waiting till completion of all the columns and coming back and casting these ones yeah this is what we have we have the level one slab here you can see the difference between each of this window how it is looking right here we have the columns that are casted we have this slab being casted but still in the meantime over here we just have the column being casted over here. but and option two we have the column i mean the level one columns that have been casted and we have this slab that is being cast right now and then we have the Columns that are getting completed over here. We have some progress over here. We have some different progress. Let me play that again. So hope you guys can capture it properly in this time. Stop, move to start. Make sure you observe what is going on in each of this window. And this is how you can represent your schedule or your option construction to your client or your project team this will help them to understand which is the better way to construct which is the better way to proceed with um, for your construction project maybe option the original one is the right way to do it maybe option one is the correct way for them to work with or option two is the best uh, construction method that the team might find it useful for them